Hi, it's Marco from Poets of the Fall, and you're watching 60 Minutes. Hi, Marco. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right, I'm all right. So you are here uh, with your amazing band from Thank Finland, you. Poets Thank of you. the Fall in Germany. Uh -huh. How is Berlin treating you so far? Oh, Berlin's always treating us nice. It's really great. It's, it's really good to be in this club. It's an awesome place and, uh, you know, everybody's treating us wonderfully. That's, that's really great to hear. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me ask you something that probably many people um, had, had already asked you before okay. about the meaning of y the name of your band. Oh, Poets of the Fall. Po Poets of the Fall. Yeah, it's an yeah. interesting name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sort of a name that depicts the grace under pressure kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. Carpe diem, seize the day, you know, you only have this much time. Mm -hmm. Spend and it wisely. And about like, um, I, I've, I have been listening to your music um, a lot the past few days and I want to say I really, really liked it. Thank you. And um, your text, do you see your, your texts, your lyrics, like really poetic? When you say like poets, do you mean the text? Do you mean it's maybe the music would be also poetic in a way? W what do you mean with that actually? Um, I think it's, it's the fact that when you do something, you try to do it as well as you can. Mm -hmm. So you, you try to make kind of like poetry of everything, even if it's a fall, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You know. And also, I, I was like looking at some other interviews and I heard that you say that the video clips that you are making is part of like an extension of the music. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Can, you, can you please tell more about that? Well, for me personally, when I write music, I tend to see everything uh, in, in pictures, images, pieces of film, like movie, mm -hmm. that I see that happening in my head. Not any particular movie that's out there that someone already made, but something I see in my head. Mm -hmm. And I kind of hear the music to that. Yeah. And then and that's sort of what comes out when I write music, when I express my emotions, when I express what I see and what I feel. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, the music already kind of holds inside itself some aspects of something visual that we can you know, put out in a music video. So, so you basically come from a very, very visual place mm -hmm. that is, is also explaining maybe a little bit the idea. Maybe you can explain uh, the idea like when I saw in a lot of your videos, it's like this crazy, like dark circus sometimes, this kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you a little bit ex explain maybe a little bit the philosophy about that or where is this coming from, from your video? Mm, yeah, I think it's uh, a lot of the times when, when we write music, we, we tend to uh, play with um, contrasts, you know, light and dark. Mm -hmm. and maybe that's where that derives from. Uh -huh. And uh, when you write music, for example, how, how is it happening? Are you, for example, sit in your house and come up with a riff, then you go to the guitar player or you go to the other members of the band and you say, okay, now let's, let's develop that or you are coming from with like more fixed idea. And uh, how do you write your songs, basically? How is it happening? Mm, well, there's no one single particular way that we do it. It's usually something that plays in your head, mm -hmm. or you have a feeling you just go to the piano and you start playing, and you kind of find what it is, what is it that you're trying to say, what, what do you need to convey, what you want to get out of your system. Mm -hmm. And the same thing goes when um, when I write lyrics. It's um, you know I, I listen to the music and and I think what I've you know try to find the gist of what I've been thinking when I've written the music or and usually when we have like um, a part of a song or a full song that's ready. Like if I write one song, it's completely like okay here it's from start to finish. And I I go to the guitarist, I go to our keyboard player mm -hmm. like Oli and Marcus and. And then we start to play with it and, and, you know, they feel that maybe this bit could be a bit different, that could be changed and they change those things around and we talk and, and play and, you know, fiddle with it more until the final product is like there, you know, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you have like, a, let's say like a concept for the album or it is, is it just like you're collecting the songs and then you're kind of a period of time, you put all the songs together or sometimes you say, okay, this album, we would like to deal with a, a specific topic more or something like this. Is, yeah, is this always, happening too? Yeah, it's always a concept, mm -hmm. you know, to start with something. 
I mean, we have uh, a lot of songs that are half finished and some are even finished and they're like kind of, kind of waiting to be published maybe at some point or put on an album somewhere. Mm -hmm. But when we start an album, we have a concept for it and, and then we look for the specific songs that fit the bill and then we take those and then we write some more for that album, you know, mm -hmm. because when you get the idea of the concept, you, you Im immediately you start to get more ideas of more songs. You uh -huh. know, you know, yeah. So. And how is what is like your um, personal connection to the music? How how is it started for you personally? Like when I was a child. Kind uh huh. Of. Like when? What oh, age? I don't know. I, I, I was born. I, I was three <laughs> years old when I performed for the first time. You performed. Know? Yeah. Where where did it happen? A, a family reunion. Uh huh. Yeah. So that was like a, a small scale kind of venue, but. It was fun. I didn't know anything about music. I just seen some people singing, and uh -huh. I just uh, grabbed this tool from the floor that looked like a microphone, and I sang in it, and, and uh, <laughs> that was how it uh, started. You know, I, I, I forced the people to applaud when I ended my you know impromptu song and everything. So you know, it was kind of funny that's that nice. way. Yeah, but that's kind of where it started. I've been singing ever since I was three years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you been like um, collaborating with more musical projects before? Poets of the Fall, did you do other things before? Yeah, I, I played in, in uh, quite a few bands before that, you know, and uh, anything from that started like at high school and stuff, and, and we, we played stuff, and uh, I, I did some musical stuff, some theater and everything, but basically um, po Poets of the Fall was the first thing, thing that actually like, you know, soared kind of, you mm -hmm. know. And like, well, for what I read, like your major breakthrough as a band was from a video game that you composed a song for. Yeah, yeah? True, yeah. Did you think that this would happen, something like that, or you just composed it and and it was like, okay, something? Yeah, we didn't kind of expect it to be that big. It mm -hmm. was more like, you know, let's try something new. Uh -huh. Let's try to do something that hasn't really been done that many times before or at all before that. Uh, yeah. You know, and. Uh, and we kind of composed a song and we were like, yeah, we're happy with it. And everybody else was happy with it. So, okay, let's put it in the game and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But we didn't really expect that it, it was like overnight all over the planet kind of thing. You know? Wow. So, yeah. That, that's a good feeling. Yeah, that, that it is. That must be a good feeling. <laughs> it did, was. did it change yeah, it your is. life completely like from being like anonymous, then you go on the street and everybody recognized you? How, how much did it change your life from this point? Um, well, I would say that I think maybe at least at that point, our kind of it became a full day job for us to to write the music and mm -hmm. do that because we understood that maybe there is something to this and let's just like give it all we got, you know. And um, but yeah, people did start to recognize us about a year later when our album came out, you know, and and our pictures were everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. and that's that's when people started to stop you on the street and ask for autographs, mm -hmm. you know. So but but luckily, you know. <laughs> in, in Finland especially you get to be quite you know by yourself and people leave you alone even if they you know recognize you and, and sometimes you go into a space and you people are going like like you know you can see that they recognize you but they kind of let you be so that's uh, that's real nice that's really cool mm. you know Finland sounds like a really fascinating place for me mm -hmm. I've never been okay. uh, soon you should you should try it I, out I especially will. during the summer it's really lovely I will and like do you feel like that Finland you know I know Finland has a really huge metal scene oh, and yeah. all of the big and really biggest and some of the most amazing singers and bands comes from Finland actually mm -hmm. from this kind of genre and do you feel like Finland is like an influence also this country the music that is coming from Finland is somehow influencing you differently or is it in your songs or mm, I don't know maybe you it's know mm -hmm. I don't think so I think it's just this is uh, something that I have to and we have to like as a band as a group to do for ourselves so um, we don't really listen to so much what other people are doing and we don't try to emulate that we just kind of because we're, we're so into what we're doing in, the, in a way that there's really no time <laughs> kind of to go and see what everybody else is doing. You just sort of hear about it and yeah. you know about it, but you're not like, oh, let's let's see what they've done and, and see what they do. Now we, we do it do. better. No. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's just you just do your thing because it's <laughs> it's a form of self expression, you mm -hmm. know. So, do you have like but musical so you're like trying not to get influence from anybody or do you have like well, uh, artists that you like more? Uh, there are artists that I like. Can, yeah, yeah. Like who who is like your Like I I was um, into metal like really really like in the 80s I was really into metal and and I was into grunge and all those bands and then I was into like Prince and Tori Amos is huge. She's I mean, also yeah, one of my yeah, favorites. Yeah, she's one of my favorites and you Mine know. Too. 
yeah bands like that artists mm -hmm. like that yeah you know and influences do come from ev everywhere you know you can just be like be sitting underneath a, a metro bridge like a railway bridge and mm -hmm. hear the sounds and go like oh wow yeah and I, you have to go and write something about that yes. so it's not always a musical influence it can be literature it could be a movie it can be everyday life people on the street whatever yeah. you know yeah, yeah that's true and uh, your new album clear view mm -hmm. is the name of the album can you tell us a little bit about it um like how how was the process of creating it how is it different from you from the other albums yeah that was painful <laughs> <laughs> it's a painful album yes, no uh, no <laughs> no it's a joke but um yeah that was um that was interesting because we uh, had that uh, concept of, of having a clear view and looking for a clear view mm -hmm. and then and finding the songs and, and going through what we went through during clear the time. Clear view in, in, in what exactly? Uh, well, uh, that was actually a good, good, good question. Uh, uh, one of our fans asked me, is it about um, mental illness? And I said, well, actually, it's about mental health. Mm -hmm. It's about the clarity, you know. I mean, if your mind is very full of thoughts, we all think constantly, all yeah. the time, all yeah. through the day when we're awake. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, what we end up doing is messing ourselves up with our thoughts, mm -hmm. you know. And then at some point, uh, when you when your mind calms down, if you just let it, you know, if you don't if you don't like grab onto the thoughts that go on, you just let them go. Mm -hmm. They come and they go, but you don't pay that much attention anymore to that. You start seeing and hearing what's behind there, and what's your intuition, your inner wisdom telling you, and then you get this clear view, and and that's what it's all about. And then it starts from going like drama for life, the first song when you're like really like. You know, there's a madman inside you that's like roiling and making you, forcing you to do crazy stuff. And then you start slowly during the song seeing that, okay, there's there's maybe a way out of this. I might not have to be sentenced to drama for life. And mm -hmm. then you evolve and you progress through the, uh, the album and to other songs until you kind of come to see that there's a wisdom inside you that you may follow if you, if you just listen to it, you know. And uh, from like the albums that you have already released in the past, um, is there an album that is actually you feel that you are more connected to after the time is passing and we are really critical sometimes, uh, artists are really critical and uh, you hear an album, you're, you're in love with it, then you put it aside and you mm. start to hate it, then you start to love it yes. again. So <laughs> are, are you you're fam you're familiar with the, with the oh, process? Oh, very familiar, yeah. I mean, seriously, it took me like... Um, after Carnival of Rust, our second album came out. Amazing I was, album, uh, I have to say. Thank I you. I really, really loved I it. I couldn't mm -hmm. listen to it for four years. <laughs> and it was like, I can't mm. listen. To it. But I was singing the songs the whole time, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. I and how is it feeling? Sorry for interrupting, no but it, how is it feeling when you start to hate? For example, you start to hate this album and the fans in the audience are asking you to sing songs that you cannot really sing anymore or you feel like you are not there emotionally anymore. How, how do you do that when you go on stage? How do you do that? Uh, that's interesting because I, I understand that, that it's different for them and it's different for me. And it's okay to sing it, but I just can't listen to it. Mm -hmm. And your brain actually works differently when you're listening to something and when you're actually singing it mm -hmm. or playing it. So the singing part and that all, and then sort of like interacting and being with, with your audience, uh, that's, that works fine. There's no problem there. But just like putting it like in my car CD player kind of and listening to it go like, oh, I made a mistake there. Oh my God, I should have done that better. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, you know, like all those things. <laughs> Or you hear yourself on the radio, then you call them screaming, stop yeah. that song! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, no. it's, it's really weird sometimes <laughs> when you hear yourself on the radio. I mean, you, you, you kind of get used to it, but still when it comes on, it's like, well, nowadays, it's like, oh, it's Lyft, yeah. But it used to be like, oh, it's, uh, change the channel. <laughs> it was kind of like that, you know. <laughs> and so. then you're in the other channel. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, it was one time when uh, I, I think it was uh, Dreaming Wide Awake came out and the video came out and it was on every uh, channel, which was great. But at the same time, it's really weird because you're like, oh, it's, it's, it's our channel, it's our song, let's just change the channel. And the <laughs> same song started from the, from the next channel. You're like, oh my God, mm. well, this is kind of cool, but, you it's know. Like you're attacked by your own self. Yeah, in a yeah. way, yeah. 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 So. Um, about to go back a little bit for Clearview, your new album. Mm -hmm. um, what is this sculpture, this horse? Um, yeah, Clearview is a dark horse. Is is mm -hmm, the, the dark one? Horse. Yeah, it's it's the one one thing that surprises you when it moves. It's it's the most clever strategical mover mover on the whole uh, game board of chess. Mm -hmm. Kind of, and it's very intuitive, mm -hmm. and it's the intuition and the element of surprise go that make you go like, oh my god, I've known this all along. 
why didn't I ever think of this? You know, <laughs> it's like that, you know. So, yeah. so that's where it's it like comes from. Like a Trojan horse, maybe? Could be. A bit? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very good mm -hmm. interpretation right mm -hmm. there, yeah, yeah. And you're touring now with the album? Have you been into many places uh, with this with this yeah, album? Yeah, we've been to uh, several several different countries and, and many, many cities. Uh, I think we've been to, uh, well, uh, 30, five at least or uh -huh. something different cities already and yeah you know i'm originally from israel so okay a any chance we will see you in israel oh we had some some people coming from tel aviv actually to really? one of the shows yeah uh -huh. and, and they were asking the same and i was like you know we have to get over there because i i do know some people from israel as well i've uh, uh i've got friends there and um you know and they've been asking the same thing so maybe one day we so should. maybe you should yeah maybe, maybe we you should. should yeah i have to talk to my uh, promoters and managers and everything so yeah 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 if it was up to me then sure but you know i can't always get to decide everything you know so and um tonight what we are what are we expecting from the concert like songs from all the albums or pretty much pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah? Well, we usually try to do like a selection of songs from uh, from like uh all these goalies you do the hits and you do the new music you do this you know some of the surprising stuff that you don't hear that often you mm -hmm. know so uh and it's it's always uh kind of um intense and hectic and it's very close up and very warm and and mm -hmm. you know alive you know so it's it's really it's always fun. It's going to be so much fun tonight too. I'm really looking forward. Me really too. looking forward, and it it has been a real pleasure to interview you. Thank you, Marco. Thank you very much from Ports of the Fall, and I wish you a great evening, great success here in Berlin, and um, I'm sure it will be amazing. Very kind. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.